So here we go, we're going to start to do the blood on the, um, on the gums, gums or the blood of the shark. Um, so using two strands of double knitting, because I didn't have any Aran weight yarn, I'm just going to join my yarn in any gap in here. So all I'm going to do now is about three, about three half double crochets in the gums. So for a half double crochet, let me see if I can zoom in for you here. Here we go. Yarn over. We're going to go in there. This is very random. Yarn over. Pull through all of them. So the whole point is we just want it covered in red. We don't want it. It doesn't need to be completely perfect because the teeth come round in a minute. So about three per cluster. So I'll do one in here. So half double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all of them. Okay, and then we'll do another one in that gap there. So you kind of get the general gist. I'll do a few more for you to watch and then you can see. So yarn over, I'm going to go in this gap here, that's between the, so two of the double cro two of the clusters, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, I'm going to go in this one now, yarn over, pull through, and now I'm going to go in this bit here, yarn over, pull through. I'll do one more and then I'm just going to carry on all the way around and you'll see me again when I've done. So here we go, we've got three double three double crochet crochets here. I'm going to go in between two of them there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, we can go in here, the next one, yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to go in this big gap here, yarn over. Okay. As you can see, we're just getting red all the way around and that's what I'm going to do all the way around all of the jaws so I'll see you when I've done that so here we go I've got all the way around let me zoom out Ooh, that's better I've gone all the way around in red and joined up what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew my ends in first just because then I won't have to worry about it when I do the white and the white will go over the top of the red quite a lot as well so sew your ends in to fasten off and hide them the white will cover them so you don't have to be too specific. And one set. There we go. And here's the other set. So for the teeth, we're using two strands of double knitting again because I didn't have any of the right weight of uh, white yarn. Um, there we go, that'll do. Let me fasten those off. Let's start with the white now. Here we go, two lots of white. Normal, attach your yarn, and this one we're going to do bobble stitch. So, just move some bits out of the way here. Here we go. I think we'll start in about the same place just because it makes sense to. So, what we're going to do is in between, let me see if I can zoom in to show you this. Make sure I'm in the right place as well. So in between your half double crochets, there are some gaps. This is where we're going to do the teeth. Okay. So we don't want too many teeth because it gets a bit too it's a bit too confusing if he's got too many teeth. So attach your white yarn. There we go. Bobble stitch. Yarn over through the hole. Pull back through. Yarn over. Oh, there we go. Pull back through. We've now got the equivalent, so I've got double strands. One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually going to do it again. Yarn over, through, yarn over, pull through all of them. Okay, now what you need to do is slip stitch inside the gums as close as you can out of the way so you can't see it. So slip stitch. And we're going to go to this hole here as our next one. So I'm going to slip stitch here. Or at least try to. Okay, well that one go under as well. That'll do. Under there. Under there. 
under there and now bobble stitch again so yarn over pull through yarn over through the hole pull back through yarn over through the hole pull back through yarn over and you're going to pull through all of them again okay slip stitch low down so you can't see it on the other side one two yarn over we're going to go in this hole here this time it doesn't matter as long as there's a big as long as there's a gap between them for your teeth you're fine yarn over yarn over through the hole yarn over you've now got all your loops one two three four five six seven Pull your yarn over, pull through all of them again. And then slip stitch. Underneath. To the next one. You kind of miss out two stitches a go with your slip stitching. Okay, yarn over. We're going to do the next two. I'm going to go here, I think, for the next tooth. It's not, it doesn't matter as long as you've got a gap. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, through, pull back through, yarn over, pull back through. Seven loops on there, yarn over, pull through all of them. Slip stitch onto these two, one, two, and we do the next tooth probably here. Okay? Oh, there. So slip stitch under those ones, next tooth about here and that's it that is what we end up with I'll see you when I've got round to the end hopefully so here we go I'm all the way back round now with these sharks teeth um, I'm just going to fasten off what you do need to do is just make sure that when you do the last tooth that you give it um, a nice spacing between the first tooth so you might need to adjust how many slip stitches you do on that one first um, here we go, I don't know if it's going to let me zoom out enough, but we should now have a shark with some teeth. <laughs>